Good morning, Wildcats, and welcome back to HBWN. I'm Caitlin Capteville. And I'm Danny Rodriguez. We are on our third and last competition show for ASPA, and we have plenty of stories to share with you as we continue to go out in the community and harbor all to bring you more. That's right, Danny. Plus, we checked up on the men's basketball team as this past weekend they defeated Crosstown Rivals, the Springdale Bulldogs, in a last-second game-winning shot. Plus, a local business that is providing opportunities for the homeless to get back on their feet. All this plus more today is Friday, February 9th, 2018, and Harbor Wildcat News starts right, right now. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends waiting just around the bed. Our WCSN crew has been an avid part to the athletic programs, live streaming every football, volleyball, and now basketball game. This week, Nick Lucho was standing by with Tyler Perry to tell us his story of coming from very humble beginnings to the star junior guard he is today. Here's the story. After a rough environment growing up and some hard obstacles in Tyler Perry's life, he's proven that he can use these events to make him stronger in every aspect of his life. Six, five, Perry. To the rack, off the glass, good! Perry off the rack, Hemfield's full court shot, no good, Harbor wins! Tyler Perry holds the ball for two minutes and then finishes off the glass. Harbor in full control of the 7A West. When I was younger, my mom, me and my mom, my two brothers, uh, all lived with my aunt in a three bedroom house. And um, that's just how we live. I just had to grow up really fast because um, my brothers, they always roughed me up. It made me grow up and become a stronger, um, stronger minded person. It made me get tough real fast. I thank my brothers every day for pushing me harder and harder every day. They never gave up on me and to this day they still don't. They pushed me to be better. Perry's brothers played a huge part in making Tyler a better player and a better man and also helped him to be thankful for everything he has today. Him being in that situation, he can appreciate uh, things that he has and uh, maybe some things that he wants to have in the future. So, uh, you know, uh, we have to learn uh, every day and uh, we all have issues and we just know, have to know how to handle them and move forward and that's what he's learning how to do. He's just gotten better every day as a player, you know. Uh, he still has some things he's got to work on to make himself better. But, you know, uh, I'm glad he's on our team and, uh, you know, at the end of the day he wants to win and uh, not just him but the rest of them. But, you know, he's a Division One basketball player and, uh, you know, uh, he has a really high IQ. He can really score the ball and that makes him pretty good. Tyler Perry has grown in many ways during his few years here at Harper and vastly improved in every facet of his game. He's grown big time. I mean, me and him grew together. I mean, to, uh, his first year, my sophomore year, we was going through trouble, man. He hit, him, he hit he his shots when we need him to hit shots. And I think Tyler Perry is going to continue to grow. And dude can play, he can shoot, he can drive, he can make others better. He can, uh, his IQ is high, he know how to play the game. And that's one thing that helped him fit right in perfect. So Tyler, Tyler is a big leader on the team and I think he also helps everybody out. Harbor has taught me a lot, it's, it's brought me uh, a lot of ups and downs and through this past three years I've learned so much from Coach Bolin, from the teachers, from my teammates, from all three years. It's just taught me a lot how to how to truly like become a better person, better teammate and become a better leader. It's not hard to see how much of an impact Todd Perry's childhood has made on him and created him into a much better person today. For WCSN, I'm Nick Luttrell. Make sure that you go out tonight and support the Wildcats as they take on Bentonville at home. Our Lady Wildcats start at 6 p.m. while the men's team starts at 7.30. Remember that if you can't make it to the game, our WCSN team will be there live. Plus, tune in at halftime as we crown our winter homecoming queen. In other news, two members of the community recently started to pursue their passion for cutting hair after watching YouTube videos and deciding that this was a skill that they could share with others. David Rodriguez was standing by with the story. There's a lot of videos online on how to do hair, but it takes more than a tutorial to be great. This couple has what it takes to take it to the next level. I started when I was 18 years old, right after high school. 
I would go get uh, haircuts at uh, salons and I was always really unhappy with my haircut until I went to a barber shop and I told my friend that owned the barber shop that uh, I was in interested in learning how to cut hair. And uh, he gave me a pair of trimmers and I had a pair of clippers that my dad had. And ever since then I started practicing on myself, on my brothers, and I fell in love with cutting hair and now I, I want to make it my career. It is clear to see that practice makes perfect, but even those who haven't been in the practice as long can still thrive in this industry. I've been cutting hair for two years now, and it all started because you can show how creative you can be, especially when it comes to hair. You can create many different updos, you can do different colors, and the different haircuts that there are. And I feel like hair really changes a person's self-viewing and confidence. I chose this career path because, like I've said before, it does change somebody's view of themselves. I know that it changed mine whenever I've gotten different haircuts, either they were bad or good. And I wanted to create a good experience for everybody out there that's trying to just do something different with their lives, with their hair. It started a little in high school. I was doing updos for prom, but I didn't consider it then till like three years later when I wanted something simple, fast, and wanted just a job that I could get to it right away. Passion definitely leads to success. It can be seen that Javier and Vanessa love what they do, and their employers feel the same. Vanessa's very upbeat, she's very positive, she's uh, willing to, to try new things, and um, she gives great shampoos, great colors. She is uh, very happy. She's always there to assist us if we need help, and very cooperative. I recommend people to go to Vanessa. She is great. She is, she is very good. She's always willing to try new fun colors or uh, traditional haircuts and colors or a little on the funky side. Be sure to visit Javier or Vanessa if your hair ever needs a touch up. For HPWN, I'm David Antonio Rodriguez. JR's is located in Springdale behind the DMV while Javier is a freelancer that can come to you wherever you may need. Be sure to stop by and see for yourself how they can change your outlook by just a simple haircut. Well, we're going to take a quick commercial break to hear from a few of our sponsors, but when we come back, we'll hear from an athlete from Harbor overcoming all odds. Don't go anywhere. HPWN will be right back. The Springdale Fire Department exists to enhance the quality of life in Springdale by minimizing the devastating effects of fire, medical emergencies, and natural and artificial disasters. Do you value commitment? Honor, integrity, loyalty, respect, service. Then you should join the Springdale Fire Department. Ever since we incorporated theater into our practices, our hustle plays have increased 60%. Show me, show me the emotions. Oh! Oh! Here at Harbor, athletes make things run much smoother. Need a runner. Two seconds slower than the last time, Chris. Come on. Fast Lane Entertainment is a family-friendly establishment that provides 75,000 square feet of wow with a state-of-the-art bowling alley, with arcade games, a two-story laser tag arena, spin zone bumper cars, with 10 party and conference rooms for birthdays and group events. Fast Lane has everything you need for family-friendly fun. Find us on Facebook or FastLaneBowl.com. Hey, do you want to buy your book? No, I don't think so. Don't say no to the Wildcat. Visit yearbookforever.com to order yours today or see Miss Sprague for more information. 
take a fresh look at the Jones Center, the premier place in Northwest Arkansas for year-round ice skating, swimming, basketball, working out, and ice hockey. It's a great place to celebrate business, school, and family events in one of our many spacious meeting rooms. Become an annual member or just come for the day and enjoy our first-class amenities at our state-of-the-art facility that distinguishes it from all others. Only at the Jones Center, serving Northwest Arkansas for over 20 years. It's a place to belong. Just a few weeks ago, we had a feature story on the Wildcat wrestling team and how they worked incredibly hard to get where they were. But that wouldn't be possible without the help of many key teammates. That's right, Caitlin. This week, we caught up with Ben Fears and learned that he is a huge asset to the team and that despite the struggles he faces, he continues to lay everything he has out on the mat. Here's the story. Harvey Wrestling is a top competitor in the state, and one team member isn't willing to let his disability keep him from getting to the top. Um, my mental problem did have a bit of effect, but primarily it was a social one. Like, I would just fight through everything. Not giving up and always becoming stronger within wrestling has helped me greatly, because it's shown that like I can be um, strong, effective, good, liked by everyone. Do I just being, being me and always doing my best? Even though Ben has autism, he doesn't let anything stand in his way, especially on the mat. He's one of the nicer kids on, on the team. I think he represents uh, doing the right thing. Sometimes, like in our practices and we're at events, he does a great job in wrestling. You know, he's a, a smart kid. And he's figured out some things that work really well for him. He kind of has worked on perfecting those certain things. He's real committed. You know, this is our set, my second year here at Harbor, so we've gotten some time to know one another. and. Kind of feel like him, along with a group of other guys, as time has gone on, have shown more and more commitment to what we're trying to do. His commitment to the team is not only recognized by the coaches, but recognized by his fellow teammates. Uh, he's a really good athlete. Um, I think he has really narrowed his skills down in the last couple of years. He knows what will work for him. So I'd say, yeah, his, his strength and his ability to know what technique is going to work for him has really shown out this year. I'd say he's really committed, especially since he's not involved uh, with Ben anymore, I don't think at this part of the season. So I would say, you know, I've been doing it with him uh, since the youth level. So I've been with Ben in wrestling for a lot of years now. So I'd say he's pretty committed to the sport. Uh, I think he just represents being like uh, raw technique because Ben, uh, one thing I noticed about him is just he doesn't, you know, get angry or anything getting warmed up before his matches. He just it goes out there and does what he knows how to do best. So I think that's just a testament to. Uh, how he is as an athlete. Be sure to come out and support Ben Fears and all the Harbor wrestlers as they take on the state competition. For HBWN, I'm Kiersey Grafton. Congratulations to Ben Fears and the rest of the wrestling team as they recently won the state dual championship. The state individuals is right around the corner. Stay tuned as we learn more. Speaking of hard working and determination, a local business here in Springdale is giving opportunities to the homeless so that they can get back on their feet. That's right, I took a personal interest in the story and caught up with Mr. Captaville to see just how the business is changing lives, one person at a time. Having over 20 years of experience and just recently getting a business license, Daniel Captaville made his business from the ground up and the impact he has on NWA just might surprise you. Captainville Pools and Fences has built uh, pools and fences and uh, everything around that, anything entertainment for your yard for the last 20 years in Northwest Arkansas. And we're all about quality. So if you dream it, we'll build it. Yeah, I worked for Capital Pools and Fences. Uh, it kept me active. I like to look at our work and uh, be, be proud of it, you know, not knowing that there's mistakes in there. From quality work to quality people, Mr. Captaville goes above and beyond when it comes to his business. Captaville pools and fences. He even searches for employees at local homeless shelters. He's shown me a lot of grace through uh, the people he's helped. I go to places like homeless shelters. I'll wait outside of a labor place and see people that are walking off that haven't got a job for the day and ask them if they want to work hard and, and do a good job. and. Um, typically, uh, they, they will say yes. I'll have somebody working for me that's a good worker. He helps his customers, his employees, and homeless people in need of a helping hand. Mr. Captaville is always seeking to help those in need. Uh, Daniel's awesome. Uh, he's funny. He's um, very knowledgeable about everything that he's walked me through, talk, talked to me about. I like what I do. I love uh, building things with my hands and working with my hands. Uh, I like to uh, just see the final 
product when I'm done and see a happy customer. From giving the homeless a place of employment all the way to producing quality work, Mr. Captiville is truly aiming for a better society. For HBWN, I'm Kylie Wright. That story was incredibly inspirational and I think we could all learn from one another that helping each other in the community could make even a small impact in someone's life. Yeah, I got to sit down with some of the workers of Captiville Pools and Fences and it was honestly interesting to hear their stories and where they've come from and how Captiville Pool and Fences has impacted their lives and turned it around for them. Absolutely. Well, that's all the time we have for this week, but be sure to tune in next week as we change things up a little bit and let a few of our other anchors have a chance behind the desk. Plus, we may bring back some of our favorites like Lie Witness News or even Shenanigans. For HBWN, I'm Danny Rodriguez. And I'm Caitlin Capteville. We'll see you next week. Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, the evening TV. You miss your old familiar friends waiting just around the bed.